What is going on guys, MJ2005 and I'm here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 1 to 144th scale Turn X from Turn A Gundam. The Turn series mobile suits from another star system, it stirred fear and terror into the people of Earth during the dark history, leading to its reverse engineering and creation of the Turn A Gundam. Now since this kit came to be built, I am unable to show you the runners nor describe any first-hand experience building this kit, so I do apologize for that. But from the instructions, this kit is made up of 4 runners and absolutely no stickers. As for the build itself, it is held together by the standard polycaps used back then, while the rest of the kit is made up of very few pieces. So for the quality of the final kit, it's deducible that the overall build and construction is very beginner friendly. From the straight assembly, the final kit looks rather basic, by no fault of the engineering as a lot of the details of the turn X are made up of recessed parts and surface detail, though the lack of panel lighting makes the kit rather dull and hard to appreciate, especially with the amount of surface detail they put into it. So let's take a look at the final touched up kit and appreciate what they put into it. <laughs> With all the detail brought out, the efforts of 1999 Bandai is apparent. Since the turn X we know of is but a repaired version of its former self using random mobile suit parts, the asymmetry of the detail is a given in context, and the kit does represent that extremely well. Not only is there a very detailed surface that the turn A designs possess, but the attention to detail for set asymmetry, especially in the chest, knees, and feet to name a few, is staggering, especially for a 90s kit. Not to mention that the different armor panels and designs between the arms, thighs, calves, and backpack add to the overall asymmetry further, making this one a unique design, especially as a repair job. On top of the armor detail, it's hard not to appreciate those on the exposed frame in the backpack itself, adding another layer of visual depth and futurism to the kit instead of being composed of blank panels that look extremely bland. On top of that, the proportions and colors are generally accurate, minus the need to paint the backpack in a shade of bluish purple. And visually, it's hard to tell that this kit is from the 90s, especially with the very necessary panel lighting done. Altogether, the aesthetics of the 1244 scale Turn X age very well, even today. Articulation is rather basic, starting with a single ball jointed head that provides decent movement. The arms can rotate all the way, go out perpendicularly, possess a swiveling shoulder panel, rotate, and bend at the elbow. The one wrist is also ball jointed. The torso and waist provide all red right crunches and a full waist rotation. Full front splits are possible as well as some barely average sideward kicks. The thighs can roll thanks to the ball joint, knees are single jointed, the feet can hinge, while the toes are ball jointed. Finally, the backpack can hinge up. Altogether, you only get some basic articulation from the turn X. Nothing too spectacular, but nothing too bad either. At least the structure is stable unlike a lot of the kits from its time. You don't get much in terms of accessories and gimmicks, as you only get the standard polycap hands, of which only the left one is used, and the beam rifle and bazooka stored in the carapace weapon platform. They can both be used in the left hand and function just like any firearm would, no moving parts or anything fancy like that. And that's it, as the fusion and crushing manipulator on the right arm is a static block, so all you could really do is a shining strike and there is no proper body separation gimmick to properly execute the bloody siege all range attack unless you are ingenious or a cheater. If you want a load of play options, you're not gonna get it here. Coming from a person desperate to relieve the high grade turn A's loneliness issues, the 1 to 144th scale turn X does stand the test of time for the most part for that purpose. Yet, you should only get it according to your wants. Visually, it's indistinguishable from contemporary kits thanks to the vast surface detail. Bring those out and the kit can look top notch, especially when paired with the high grade turn A Gundam. Articulation isn't too bad either, making this kit viable for basic play, however provided with this 600 yen price tag, it's a given that the kit will have to compromise something for that, and in this case, it's the vast feature set of the Turn X design, especially in the fusion and crushing manipulator, and the possibility of displaying the bloody siege attack right out of the box. The 1 to 144th scale Turn X serves as a good representation for the scale, but mostly in a visual sense. If you don't care about the scale and or are looking for gimmicks, get the Master Grade instead. And that's all for me, 
Thank you for watching, drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more content like this, and feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That's it, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out guys, Bye bye